Hey guys, Brian Beeler coming to you from the Storage Review Lab. We've got another great project today. We're a little behind the times on this one and, and we've seen it shown up in some of our other videos, but this is the Seagate Fire CUDA 510 SSD. And this was launched in CES of this year, so back in January. The 510, which is this guy, and they also launched the 520, which is a PCIe Gen 4 drive. Now we don't have the 520 yet, but that guy tops out at 5,000 megabytes per second read although this one's not too shabby with a spec sheet top out at 3450. Um, all the Fire CUDA drives come with a five-year warranty. They work with Seagate C Tools management software, although there's not a Mac version currently. Uh, so you'll have to use something else, a PC or uh, I believe a Linux devices for that. And it also comes as part of the launch of the, uh, of the Seagate gaming dock, which we've also done some work on already. So we're gonna put this guy in the dock and just get a little bit of background on, on the Fire CUDA and its performance characteristics in the, for the Mac. Um, we're also dropping the review today as well, so we'll have our complete set of workloads available for you to, to see as well. One side note is that overall the performance profile is really strong. It's, um, it's sort of upper middle pack reads for most of our workloads, but where it really stands out is on the right side. Not that it's um, really high end on the right, it's still sort of uh, in the upper middle, but it's upper middle for everything, which is great because when you look at some of the competing devices, uh, like the WD Blue SN550, it was awesome in reads and led most of our benchmarks, but when you give it some high write activity, like in the VDI profiles, it gets all squiggly and, and freaks out a little bit. Uh, so this drive, not a lot of freakouts, so that's good. That's what we like to see in an SSD, like to see workload consistency because not everyone does read-only workloads or, or real lightweight workloads. So this drive's got a really good performance profile from a balance standpoint. But like I said, let's drop it in the dock, show you what it does, direct attached via the uh, Thunderbolt 3 cable, and we'll go from there. So as noted, we're gonna go ahead and drop this Fire CUDA into the uh, Seagate gaming dock here just to see what it does. Direct attached to the Mac, we'll run uh, Blackmagic just to get some, some top level numbers. As I said, this review posted today, or will post today, and we've got our full range of, um, of workloads in the full review, and, and you can see all that detail there. Uh, but we find that uh, just getting the highest level performance out of Blackmagic we can for single threaded workloads is uh, a fun way to look at these drives. Now, just as a reminder, this is the Fire CUDA, so it's gaming-centric. In fact, if you look at all the marketing that uh, Seagate has for this, it's got boss-level speed, gaming versatility, and future reliability, uh, although they've got a uh, typo on the side. I assure you it can handle more than 2,600 total bytes written. It can take a whole 4K block and keep running. Um, you know, boss-level speed, we get kind of wrapped up in some of the, the marketing things, and that's cute and all. The, uh, the top end being 3,400 megabytes per second read or 3,450. Now we won't see that, of course, if, as you've watched our videos, you know that once you put in the overhead of the dock, of the cable, of the system and OS, that thing slows down. Um, but it will give us a pretty good idea of its capabilities if I can dig this screw out that I've dropped. The night, one of the nice things about the uh, this particular dock is it's got the uh, little sticky tape there to help the heat dissipate. This is a double-sided design, uh, which is probably fine for the intended use cases. If it were more mainstream, like the Barracuda family, or something designed to go in thin and lights and tablets, you'd want to see it be a single-sided PCB. Um, the Fire CUDA also does go up to two terabytes in capacity, so it's, uh, it's topping out uh, above some of the competitor drives. But even a double-sided thing will fit just fine inside these enclosures, like this one from Pluggable, and we've got others around uh, that are really great for being able to take the drive. If you want a big enclosure like this that has the hard drive inside, that's great, but a little one that can run around to different systems, be it your PC or Mac or gaming things like Xbox, as we're all stuck at home playing more games than usual, uh, portability of data, may see a, uh, an increased level of importance. So we're gonna use a Thunderbolt 3 cable and get this guy fired up. And then like I said, we'll run black magic against it uh, just to make sure that we're seeing the, the uh, high-end speeds that we'd like. 
All right, so the system has come up. This guy shows up as Fire Fast Boy. That must be him. Uh, that's already partitioned, so we'll go ahead and select that in our uh, target drive for disk speed test. Grab that, and then just see what it does. So from a write standpoint, it's going to start out, uh, what do we got, 1450, and then reads at uh, close to 2500. So it's going to get you all the checkboxes in disk speed tests. So again, not designed for creative professionals, but this is a useful tool uh, just for us to see what the uh, top end capabilities are. Flirting with 1700 megabytes per second again, 2500 on read. So overall, really nice performance profile for these lighter threaded workloads. And then as again, I keep referencing the review, but as you see in the review in storagereview.com, um, even when we throw more threads at it, it maintains an even performance profile, which is uh, something we like to see, whether it's gaming centric or not, a uh, high quality drive that can handle reads and writes equally well is a uh, uh, nice balanced, uh, good, good view to see. So that's it for this review. We appreciate you checking in and taking the time to, to watch and we'll be back soon with something else shortly. Thanks.